York City. It is Friday, December 1st, and we're gonna be here through Tuesday the 5th. So obviously we're taking y'all with us. We just got to our hotel room. Now we're going to go get our subway cards and just, we have a full day. So I will take y'all with us. Let's do it. The first thing we did was walk to the nearest subway station from our hotel to purchase our Metro cards. My favorite way to get anywhere in Manhattan is through the subway. We took a quick subway ride up to Times Square to get a slice of Joe's pizza. There's always going to be a long line at Joe's, but it, honestly, it goes so quick and it's definitely the worth the wait. We made it to Joe's. A crispy Coke. Yeah. Ah. I like that they put it in the box. That looks so good. Went like this. <laughs> Cup it. Take a slice. Oh yeah. After Joe's Pizza, we headed over to Fifth Avenue. We started at the top near the Plaza Hotel and just walked all the way down to look at all of the fun Christmas lights. We saw the Cartier building, the Rockefeller, pretty much everything. It was raining most of the time, which was a bummer, but honestly that did not stop us from taking a million pictures. All you really need is a poncho and some umbrellas. Today. Waiting for Ellen. Hello. For our nightcap, we ended at Ellen's Stardust Diner for dinner. This is over in Times Square. It's one of those places that you definitely go for the entertainment, but I would say that the food wasn't terrible. Hello, you guys, and welcome to day two. I didn't get to film as much as I wanted yesterday because it rained, which is super unfortunate, but I still get a, got a good amount of footage. Today is super fun. We're gonna go ice skating. We're gonna go shopping in Chinatown. We're gonna have a lot of stuff we did have to move our itinerary around a little bit because it's gonna be raining tomorrow so I like changed our stuff that's more outside to today since it's not raining today I should get a lot more footage some fun stuff I'm so excited let's go we took a quick walk over to juice generation from our hotel we love the juices and smoothies here but for breakfast we actually got bagels at liberty bagel y'all these are delicious i got one of these rainbow bagels but there were so many cream cheese options we've got our bagel i got my bagel yeah. I got water. the rainbow bagel with strawberry spread Open her up. Oh my gosh, it's looking All right, so we gotta good. get a taste test. What do you think? It looks freaking good. I'm not gonna lie. This is better than that other bagel. Place it's not something me. I would normally get, but I'm just got. I gotta try it. Liberty Bagel is just a short walk over to the Plaza Hotel, so we took some photos out front. But y'all, the most stunning part is the inside. I mean, look at these Christmas trees. You can only get inside during Christmas time before 10 a.m. So make sure you get there early so you can take a peek. We then had a short walk through Central Park so that we could go to Woolman Rink for our ice skating time slot. We're scared! I gotta hold onto the wall. <laughs> Woohoo! We are skating in Woolman Rink. I think everybody's holding onto the wall. It's gorgeous out. Come on, fun! After skating, we took another walk through Central Park over to the Bethesda Terrace and Fountain. This place is iconic and it's definitely a must see if you visit Central Park. If you visit New York City during Christmas, then you have to walk over to the Upper East Side and take a picture here. I call it the Nutcracker apartment. We took a subway down to Little Italy where we got some delicious Italian food at Pisano's, if that's how you pronounce it. The ambiance was just delightful. The food was 10 out of 10. We actually ended up coming back here on our last day before we flew out. I got the Rotini alla vodka.
Good morning and welcome to day three. We started off the day with coffee over at Gregory's by our hotel before we took a long subway all the way down to Dumbo, Brooklyn. We took a photo in front of the Manhattan Bridge before heading over to the Time Out Market to eat at Clinton Street Baking Company. The brunch here is always delicious. After we walked across the Brooklyn Bridge back into Manhattan, it was raining this day, which was kind of a bummer, but we didn't let that ruin our itinerary whatsoever. Walking across the bridge is mine and my husband's favorite thing to do in the city. We always think that it would be so fun to go on a run across it and then go eat brunch in Brooklyn. After we took the subway over to Levain Bakery where we got our favorite cookies in the city. Look at that gooiness. I've been dreaming of those cookies. I think they're about to be world sensitive. Oh, yeah. Mm. It just wouldn't be a shopping trip in New York City without going to the Macy's on 34th Street. They have the cutest window displays for Christmas, and you have to ride the old escalators. I believe this was on the second and third floors. And really just admire all of the detail they put into the Christmas decor. For dinner, we ate at the Bryant Park Winter Village. I got popcorn chicken and fries, which I didn't film, but my family did get the chicken avocado paninis. From Bryant Park, we walked over to Times Square for our Broadway showing of Lion King in the Minskoff Theater. The ticket prices are steep, but y'all, it is so worth it because it was incredible. Not to mention the views from the theater of Times Square is, is just breathtaking. Welcome to day four, our last full day in New York City. We took the subway all the way downtown for our Statue of Liberty tour. The views are always so breathtaking. We walked by the New York Stock Exchange and even saw the Trinity Church peeking through the buildings. We took a personalized 9-11 tour that we purchased online. It came in a whole package deal. Our tour guide was amazing. He showed us inside the Oculus. We walked by the fire stations and saw the memorial wall for the firemen who passed away that day. We also saw the survivor's tree, which was absolutely beautiful. I've never seen it before. And then of course, both of the fountains for the North and South Tower. I love this interactive video as you went up in the elevator for the top of the One World Trade Center. It went so fast, but it was amazing to see Manhattan's transformation over time. And then of course at the end, it opened to the fantastic views of the city. For dinner, we headed over to Los Tacos One. It was a short walk from the One World Trade Center. After dinner, we headed over to Radio City Music Hall because we had tickets to see the Rockets perform. And wow, that show is a must see. If you're going to New York during Christmas time, you just have to go. And sadly, this is our last day in New York City. We had an afternoon flight, so we headed over to Soho so I could repurchase the shoes that were stolen from my hotel room. And then here you can see the incredible views I got of Manhattan as we fly out of LaGuardia. Well, good morning, you guys. As you can probably tell, I'm not in New York City anymore. Let me fix this lighting, hold on. Hey girl, okay we're back. As you can tell, I'm not in New York City this anymore. We got home really late last night, but I have on my New York sweatshirt that I bought in Chinatown for the video. I didn't really get to finish and close out the vlog because of some unforeseen circumstances that I'm gonna tell you about quickly right now. Basically, I had some stuff stolen from our room on Sunday night. It could be an accident. It's not really looking in that favor. I'm not going to say the hotel name right away um, because they did offer to refund us for the goods that were stolen. They were kind at the end to us. So basically, 
Sunday, I bought a pair of Golden Goose and a pair of Birkenstocks. In total, they both were around $850, so a lot of money. I've never bought a pair of Golden Goose. This was literally my first pair. I saved up to buy them in New York City. I do buy expensive things, but like, $600 on a pair of shoes like it's not something that I do often or ever so this is something that I've been looking forward to since we booked the trip seven months ago so I bought my golden goose and then we went to Macy's and they had the Birkenstock Boston's in my size which is like unheard of so I bought those and took them back to the room and then we went to dinner and our Broadway show and we didn't get back until 10 p.m. Um, when we got back the first thing that I wanted to do was try my shoes on again because I was so excited about them so I walk into the room I had put both of my shopping bags underneath the desk they were both gone and I just froze and said who moved my bags and my parents and my husband were like we haven't touched them I'm like okay well someone stole my shopping bags he tore the room up just want a preference by saying whenever we had come back to drop off our shopping bags our rooms hadn't been cleaned yet our beds were not made all of our dirty towels were in the bathroom so we were like oh that's weird they hadn't cleaned our room yet and then when we got back from dinner in our broadway show the beds were made but we had no towels like she took our dirty towels but then didn't give us clean ones so she had been in the room so i instantly was like she stole my shoes they were under the desk, but I will say they were next to the trash can. So I'm like, okay, maybe she took them thinking they were garbage, but both of the shoe boxes that were in the bags had the shoes in them. So they would have been heavy, right? So I go downstairs, basically tell the front desk like, hey, I'm missing shoes. Like they're not in our room and the maids have cleaned our room since. So where are they at? Just a lot of back and forth. I almost we almost had to miss like a whole a whole tour that we went on we had to show up late thankfully they still took us but it was a whole thing I was very stressed out I cried a lot which I know is so ridiculous over shoes and it's just like violating to know that someone came into your space and like took your items and you have zero control over it um she she also like didn't take my ipad um or my vlogging camera was in the room but the reason that i think that she stole them is because while we were down there like trying to figure this out someone else came downstairs and was like well, what room are y'all and i told them and they're like we're you know the room next to y'all and their airpods were stolen out of their room like they were on the desk and when they got back they were gone something's going on but i didn't want that to ruin my trip i know it kind of like made me in a bad mood for a little bit um and i did cry often but the hotel did offer to refund us the difference or like the cost of what the items were and then we did go repurchase them we did file a police report just to like you know have it legit in there so i need a call to get that taken care of unfortunately during christmas time that just happens i had so much fun christmas in new york is beautiful but i don't think i will come back for new york because it's or i don't think i'll come back to new york for christmas time because it's a madhouse there was eight of us in our group so it was kind of hard to get around and to do stuff in a quick manner but we still had fun i think that my husband and i want to go to new york just the two of us because we are speed walkers we both got long legs and we're just gonna do everything that we can and we want to go when it's like warm so we're thinking maybe in the summer like early summer like may or june sorry if the vlog just ended abruptly if you watched this whole thing i tried to vlog as much as possible the beginning is probably a lot more interesting than the end i filmed most everything in the end on my phone so i'm gonna do voiceover clips from that but everything ended up fine i still got my shoes thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time